Ever wondered what happens when we're on the edge of life and death? Those who have undergone near-death experiences often come back to report gut-wrenching and life-changing encounters with the unknown, leading to a deeper understanding of existence and the nature of consciousness. In this video, I will delve into the surreal, otherworldly phenomenon of near-death experience, exploring the story of Howard Pittman, who ventured to the brink of death and returned with extraordinary tales of the spiritual realm. Before delving into the details, please take a moment to like and subscribe this video, and share it with your family family and friends. I share such captivating stories daily, and your support helps spread the inspiration. Many individuals describe a sense of peace and tranquility as they leave their physical bodies, often observing the events around them from an elevated vantage point. This out-of-body experience is frequently accompanied by a journey through a tunnel or passage towards a radiant light, which is often described as imbued with an immense sense of love and acceptance, and in other cases, peril and gloom. In the midst of these ethereal encounters, some individuals, like Pittman for instance, report entering a realm of indescribable beauty and tranquility, characterized by harmonious sounds and an in-depth sense of interconnectedness with the universe. This otherworldly environment often defies conventional notions of space and time, leading to a deep sense of awe and wonder in those who experience it. Perhaps most intriguing is the story of Howard Pittman who journeyed even further into these spiritual realms, encountering different obstacles and revelations that defy rational explanation. Pittman's near-death experience, a story you cannot get over. Howard Pittman, a Baptist minister, had one of the most powerful near-death experiences on August 3, 1979, while undergoing surgery for aortic rupture. His story is one of a few that provides insights into the spiritual realm and the nature of near-death experiences. During Pittman's journey into the metaphysical world, he reported encountering outstanding revelations that had a lasting impact on his life. According to Pittman's story, he found himself leaving his physical body on the hospital bed and entering a spiritual realm. He described coming across deceased loved ones and spiritual beings who emanated wisdom and compassion. Pittman also reported experiencing gut-wrenching rue and anguish before experiencing peace and tranquility on reaching the throne of the light. That's when the pain hit me. <clears throat> like a mule would kick me in the midsection and consume my entire body. One of the critical aspects of Pittman's near-death experience was his encounter with the reality of hell. He described having witnessed the existence of Satan and his demons, who were actively working to send people to hell. Pittman emphasized the importance of God's love and the need for individuals to choose a path to heaven. The first time I'd ever experienced that kind of darkness, there was no light. And then all of a sudden, I saw something that come right out of the top of that darkness. During his journey in the spiritual realm, Pittman described witnessing a panoramic review of his life, reliving significant moments, and gaining a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of his actions and intentions. He also received profound teachings and insights, often conveyed through symbolic imagery. I knew that my spirit had been crossed, had crossed the veil. Flesh and blood can't go there. And I knew the only way I could come back, God would have to permit it. Pittman's near-death experience had a profound impact on his beliefs and worldview. He dedicated the rest of his life to sharing his story and spreading the message of God's love and the reality of the spiritual realm. His experiences serve as a testament to the transformative power of near-death experiences and their potential to deepen our understanding of life, death, and the mysteries of existence. Pittman went ahead to reveal to the Word the entire contents of the five-point message given to him by God for humanity. Point number one. For those who call themselves Christians, this is the Laodicean church age in which we live. A high majority of so-called Christians are living a deceived life. They talk about Jesus and play church but do not live it. They claim to be Christians and then live like the devil. They have bought the great lie from Satan, who tells them that they are all right. He tells them that it is all right to go to church on Sunday and attend midweek services, but as far as the rest of the time is concerned, they are to get all they can out of life. Point number two, Satan is a personal devil. Point number three, to the whole world, this is Noah's second day. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Humans took no thought of what Noah was saying, nor did humans believe that anything was about to change. Humanity could see the storm clouds over the horizon, but did not believe the rain was imminent. 
Notice the close parallel today. Men have become lovers of pleasure and wealth, just like in the days of Noah. Point number four. Those who claim to be Christians are supposed to be ambassadors for Christ here on earth. One cannot have any true witness or power in his life unless one lives his Christian faith at all times, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Point number five. This is perhaps the most profound message. God is now in the process of recruiting an army with which God will shake this old world one more time. By working through his soldiers, God will produce great miracles that will shake the established hierarchy of the so-called organized religion that is in this world today. These soldiers that God is now recruiting will demonstrate the power of God to a greater extent than did the disciples in the Pentecostal age. He asked that you and I accept to be part of this end-time army. The stories of those who have died and returned to life reveal the nature of consciousness and the mysteries of existence. While skeptics may attribute these experiences to neurological phenomena or the release of endorphins in response to trauma. The deeply entrenched and enduring impact of near-death experiences cannot be easily dismissed. These encounters often prompt a fundamental shift in the individual's worldview, leading to a greater appreciation for the rudiments of all life and a deep sense of purpose and meaning. Through Howard Pittman's near-death experience, you've been offered a fascinating glimpse into the mysteries of the spiritual realm and the profound nature of human consciousness. Aside Pittman, the stories of those who have ventured to the brink of death and returned with extraordinary tales of the afterlife provide compelling insights into the relativity of all life and the enduring mysteries of existence. Whether viewed through a scientific, spiritual, or philosophical lens, near-death experiences continue to captivate and inspire, inviting us to contemplate the unfathomable mysteries that lie beyond the reach of mortality. Kindly reach the comment section and let me know how this video has blessed and inspired you so far. Endeavor to support this work by clicking the like and subscribe button. Remain hopeful till we meet again.